actually, uh, I'm actually a historian on all these carriages. We do conferences, we do museum uh, talks and all kinds of stuff, and I actually restore these. And uh, I have a shop at home. We've got, Lord mentioned, we've got 55 in the museum right now. 56, 57 are in my shop getting worked on right now. 58, I gotta go pick up next month in Idaho. So uh, we're always building the collection and we, and we have a lot of fun with them. All of our stuff is 1880s, 1890s. We've got some 1840s. Our newest piece is about 1930. So, uh, trigger the They actually had silver from the Lone Ranger. And next time you guys watch Gone with the Wind, look for this carriage. This is the carriage that Bell Watton sits in, in the movie Gone with the Wind, if you're an old movie buff. There's also my favorite. This is called a Bow Front Throne. Look at the elegance of that. Isn't it gorgeous? And what's fun about this, and again, another name that you recognize from the car industry, Brome. Cadillac has a Brome, you know that name? Brome is actually a guy by the name of Ward Henry Brome. Anyways, this was a taxi cab, 1890. You see where the driver sits way up on top? He's got some steps in the back there, right? So two people, you guys want to go in a cab ride, you have a cab, you go over and get the cab, okay? You also notice that this has a brake system on it. See the brake pad, or brake pad there, and you'll see a brake Yes. So, that was for loading, not for stopping. When, she, when this carriage was pulled out of the carriage barn, came up to some steps, the driver sat on that brake so that it didn't shift, the, you know, if the horse was shifting when she was getting in and out of the carriage. So all handcrafted, watch what you can do with this. Seater that's officially called the trap now. Is that neat? Yeah. All handcrafted, 1893. You guys are in the town of Raymond Washington. And Raymond Washington was named after that guy right there. His name was L.B. Raymond, and uh, he was the first postmaster as well as the first mayor of Raymond back in the 1800s. The one right next to it is our produce cart. Uh, this was out of Ohio. Uh, this was set up for fresh fruit and produce. But they use these kind of vehicles in towns all over the country uh, to sell their, their products. A lot of times this back was solid and they weren't painted this bright, but uh, they were they delivered ice, they delivered uh, milk. If you, if you picture that um, uh, painted white with solid back there and picture a little engine there, it looks just like the old milk trucks that we probably saw when we were kids. Uh, um, she was the first African American female to ever get a US postal route riding a stagecoach in the United States. Come on this way, guys. This is called a flywheel. So if you think about being hooked up to your horse or buggy, you know, my little student baker there, that horse is right in front of you. You jog in into town, he expects, and they call that lather. And when the horse lathers, you can see he has a lot of flies on him. If he has a lot of flies on him, you have a lot of flies on you. Therefore, you put this over his back under his equipment, and as he walks, it goes like that, it keeps the flies off of him, and keeps the flies off of you. That gets the flies him. I love the wood on this one. This is actually, this was made by a company called Bly Brothers out of Canterbury, England. And here's, the, here's the question. This is obviously a hearse. See this area right under here? And I can tell you it goes about eh, three quarters of the way back under there. What's this for? Ha, <laughs> ha, 